Okay, um, so this is part two on how to use Alistair. Uh, now, um, uh, if you don't, if you miss part one, uh, I recommend you go check it out. I basically explain what his abilities are and how he contribute to the team. Um, and uh, right now, it's uh, it's halfway through the game. Uh, as you can see, Draven is doing a lot of damage, and I'm just trying to keep him in place for Draven. Uh, but it's not really working out because Tristana has uh, uh, an ability where she pushes it back. She basically just blows her face off with a cannon, and Alistair headbutts away. So at this point, we are we kind of agree to not push too hard, but at the same time avoid them from getting farmed. So you will notice uh, that I, I try to stay in between minions and kind of Draven goes in and tries to scare him because he is as a, he is doing a, a substantial amount of damage. Due to his like bouncing blades or whatever the fuck you want to call them, um, so um, whatever what, what's going on for the rest of the game is basically Siver and Fizz have this little uh, I guess little fight over mid, and they've both been going back and forth. But so far Fizz has been has been getting some kills, Siver has been getting some kills, and bottom has been hasn't been pushed yet. And we're pretty much, uh, right now, I'm just harassing Alistair. I'm just keeping him away from Tristana so that Draven may land some attacks. But Tristana uh, has uh, that move where she, that you just saw where she just kind of, like, blows away. Now, right here, Draven's getting ready. He used his ulti, but he, um, he, let, he didn't reactivate it again. So he kind of missed on Tristana. So right now, he's going in for the kill. So I headbutt, I tank a little bit of the turret, and I try to get out with Flash. And allowing Draven to um, kind of harass a little bit, wait for Alistair's ulti to cool, to finish, go for Tristana, picks up the kill, flashes away, and then Alistair is pretty much helpless. Now notice that I am flanking around, and I, and the way I flank around is so he doesn't see me. In case he tried to run away, I would headbutt him, but Draven still got the kill. So basically being a tank kind of helped me take some damage for the turret and allowing Draven to pick up a double kill. So, so far, feeding Draven is going very well. Um, mid is still, uh, we do we did lose a turret on mid, uh, but it, it's not a big deal because Fizz kind of is keeping uh, Saver away. And up top, we, we are, we're going to push the turret. Draven is getting fed. He, um, he, he's doing a substantial amount of damage. I mean, I didn't think Draven did so much damage. Uh, but, uh, I mean, the, the worst thing you can do is fit a Draven or a Darius. Um, but you know, that's just a matter of opinion. Now, uh, the items I'm, I'm, I'm building right now, I did say I wasn't going to talk about items, but uh, I am going to talk about the items I pick. Oh, look at this right here. Playful Trickster just got, <laughs> Playful Trickster just let Fizz get away with that kill. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Playful Trickster is a, one of Fizz's abilities where he jumps and upon hitting the ground, he causes damage. Uh, and he can be targeted while he's in midair. So he let Siver, he baited Siver into the turret, used Playful Trickster, and got the kill. So that that's pretty clever play. I mean, I think he had like what, uh, like a hundred health, maybe less. So that was that was pretty epic, and I I gotta give him a shout out because that was pretty nice. And now you, as you can see, in case you haven't noticed yet. Uh, my plan of not letting them get any farm is working pretty well. I mean, Tristana, I out, uh, me and, and Draven especially out-level Tristana and Alistair by two levels. And I mean, that's amazing. Now, uh, now Draven can start some serious harassment. See how he basically just runs toward them with a spinning blade and they're ready, ready to run away. That, that, that's how much damage he's doing. Uh, I still, I'm still playing my role of bodyguard and hopefully towards uh, the middle of the game we will start ganking middle. Now Alistair did make a mistake. I mean, he he could have uh, he could have probably gotten uh, a kill on Draven if he would have headbutted Draven towards Tristana, but that's not that didn't work. Now right here, here I come saving Draven, and and unfortunately it did not work out. Tristana has that move, and right here I think this should have been a kill, but Tristana once again. <sighs> I think look look how much health she has. That's just that's just. That's just bad. Uh, Alistair doesn't want a part of it. He just keep running away. So uh, I'm just gonna play cautiously. I'm not gonna chase Tristana because I, I I don't want to feed. That's the last thing we need. We already have an advantage. And when you have an advantage, in, especially in this game, advantage. I can speak English. Uh, you wanna keep it. You wanna keep pressing. You don't wanna give up uh, your feeding. You don't wanna feed. You wanna stay uh, as powerful as possible. And chasing Tristana just did not work out for me. 
now our minion wave pushed up, so I'm kind of just harassing. I'm, I'm kind of distracting Alistair. I'm making him attack me so that the minions can push um, while the other minion wave comes. So I'm just buying time. I'm basically buying time for Draven to buy his items, respawn, and, and come up here. Because if Tristana and Alistair were to jump here right now, I don't even have my ulti, so I, I'd be dead. So I want to be. I don't want to be too aggressive. You never want to be too aggressive with a tank. Because even though they do have a lot of health, a 2v1 versus a tank is usually going to kill you. Um, uh, on bottom, we, do, we did lose a turret, but uh, again, it doesn't really matter because... Uh, the the action uh, I I feel like most of the of the games of league uh, people just start pushing mid like like the people up top and then bottom yeah they gotta guard the tower so they don't push too hard but most of the time the action occurs in mid so it's not really a big deal that we lose a turret on bottom um, it does seem like we might be losing uh, because we are uh, two turrets down and they still have all the turrets and as you can see brand had to come help because they're not getting any farm they're not they're not pushing the minions fast enough uh, but o overall what you want to do is just keep them in their turret prevent them from getting farm the good thing about keeping uh, your minion wave close to the turret is that you do damage to the turret whether it's using the minions or, or just your own uh, uh, champion and the best part about it is they don't really get any farm because the turret constantly kills the minions so they don't get any gold they don't get much experience and overall it seems like pushing is is the best way to go now I, I am staying by my turret because I don't have a lot of support Draven went to, to gank mid with Fizz so they can start pushing the middle tower uh, but right now I'm just I'm just trying to hold on I'm, I know they're not gonna attack me in front of my tower I out-leveled him, and, uh, I, oh, I forgot, he did put a Sith Guard there. Uh, you always want to put a Sith Guard in this part of the map, specifically, to um, see when you, uh, to see for ganks, uh, because it's never fun when you get ganked by mid, and usually, most of the time, you won't survive unless you have Flash or Ghost. Now, we're going for, for mid, it seems like the action is still going on mid, and look at this beautiful ulti by Draven. I, he didn't get the kill, but he did enough damage so that Fist could get the kill. And right here is where shit start going down. Now Tristana has Fist, and then Master Yi comes in. Master Yi is using his ulti, which increases his attack speed and his uh, uh, like speed. He slows, but the whole time I'm just, I'm just uh, attacking Master Yi. I'm, I'm disrupting him as much as possible. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep Draven alive. And right there, that little uh, pulverize I used was enough for it. He comes back, picks up the kill. Alistair is going after him. And I just keep harassing Alistair. I keep trying to distract him. Uh, I miss my pulverize, but I still push him away. And eventually, he just gives up on Draven. So this this is a perfect example of how can, how Alistair can be a great support. Uh, I mean, Draven, 99% of the time, he should have not made it out of alive. So, and neither did Fizz. Fizz should have been dead too, but thanks to me and Draven, he still managed to um, get out with the kill. Draven got, uh, I, don't, I don't remember, actually, I don't remember if Draven got the kill on Tristana or if it was Fizz. The point is that as a team, that was a successful uh, move. And now they can kind of push mid since they have two champions down. Uh, it, 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 so far, it seems that the majority of the firepower in this team comes from Draven and Fizz. I'm not really getting any kills, and I don't want any kills because I'm a tank. I don't do as much damage, but I'm, I, I feel good because I'm kind of helping them get the kills, and that's that should be your mission as a tank. I know I know it sounds kind of boring, uh, perhaps a bit monotonous, but that that's that if you really want to win, that that should be your your goal as a tank. Sorry, it should be protect your teammates and feed them. Let them let them get stronger. You're there. You're there to take up all the damage. I mean, there's a reason why your class is called a tank. And once once you get a, a, a friendly unit fed, that's it. You're pretty much done. Now, um, once again, <laughs> they're still pushing mid. Uh, they, they, did lose, uh, uh, they did lose two lives there. Now, I notice they're going into the brush. They're going after Fizz because it makes sense to, uh, you know, kill the strongest one. And I see Sivir made it alive made it out but I don't see Alistair who is right here now notice how I keep him in place I headbutt him away towards Draven I'm trying to get Draven fed and then Fizz comes in for the for the for for the help and basically he's done with Fizz ulti 
and right here, Silver's trying to run away.